Welcome back to Distraint here on Safe Point. Um, this is the, what is this, third, fourth, fourth episode, I think? Fourth episode of Distraint, that's right. And I believe this will probably be the last video. Um, I'm not sure how much longer this game goes on for, but am I in a prison outfit? No, oh, those are my pajamas. Ooh, it's foggy. Uh. Uh. Oh. All the changes you asked for has been made. Thank you, Mr. Ba Braden. See, I got myself a bunny to keep me company. Mrs. Chanel is her name. Well, I've become very attached to her, and I think she will outlive me. See? That rabbit's dynamite. I understand, Mrs. Goodwin. Animals can bring a great comfort to their owners. You're right, Mr. Braden. Don't worry, Mrs. Goodwin. The stipulation in your will shall ensure Mrs. Chanel goes to a good home, should the need ever arise. That's the only thing I ask. It's very... I'm sorry, time's up. That would be $500, Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, of course, Mr. Brayden. Huh? What? What's, uh, what is it? What is that sound? can't even save right now. Oh, it's getting louder. I'm just going to go over here and turn on the TV. Nope. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Ah, you were right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear, our little boy. I can see that, hun. What are you doing, Mom and Dad? What? What is this? Oh, I hope we didn't wake you up, dear. You did. What the... We wanted to surprise you, me and your mother, by preparing you a breakfast. Oh, okay, 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 think. This is not really happening. You are nothing but my subconscious mind. That is correct, son. We're part of you. But what's the meaning of this? Can't you see, son? This is not the work for you. But you already know this, don't you? We thought to make sure you would understand by feeding you the guilt. Your elephant. I'm sorry, son. I know it's a bit extreme. But we're only... Stop it! Stop it now! It was supposed to be my day off. I might as well try and relax. I need some coffee. Yeah. Oh. Nasty. Okay, now I can save. Oh, huh. what's this? I asked that first. Oh yeah, I subscribe to the daily paper. This is good, just what I needed. I'll enjoy a cup of coffee while reading the headlines. The coffee should be ready by now. Newspaper and coffee makes a good combination. But only if you don't mix them. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, there you go. Yes, please. Alright, I'll head to the table. Don't tell me what to do, Price. I'm my own person. You're at the table, sir. What do you... There. It's chilly in here. 
Ah, warm coffee. Huh, interesting. They're going to increase taxes on food. What else? The construction on the new highway has started. I believe it crosses the old property of Mr. Taylor. I wonder how he's doing. What's this? A new species has been found. That's cool. I wonder what the next page hides. Oh, it's the page for obituaries. Too many names and ages here. Nancy P. Goodwin. No. No, no, no! I lost it. The weight of the world came crashing down on me. It twisted my soul like nothing before. At that very moment, I made a decision. I would quit my job. But before that, I would have to visit her grave. Well, that's sad. Can I go any farther? Man, I can go really far. Oh. I'm actually going to go back and look at the map real quick. Okay. So I am at that red dot. <clears throat> so if I go through the first gate, I'll take the... I won't get to go past that house looking thing. I think I'm going to take the second gate, go to that house thing, and then um, either come back or go the long way around, and then go to the graves. I want to explore everything. Alright, let's go through here. Alright, what's here? What is this? Save first? What is this? I'm here to visit Mrs. Goodwin's grave. Oh, oh, okay, my pop filter for my microphone was covering that dude, and he, he, <laughs> I was, I blinked, and all of a sudden he was on my screen, so that made me jump real bad. <laughs> hey, dude. Nice hole you got there. Thanks. I need to get to the other side. Didn't you read the notice? We are closed, so to speak. Come back later. Can't I just know? Hey, there's something fishing going on around the gate. Someone's trying to break in. I'm not falling for that. Now get lost and let me work. The, but there is someone. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go the long way around. Cool. chain and huge lock. I need a key. <sighs> I guess I made the right decision the first time going through this door. Can I go in here now? Though the way is blocked. Ah, screw it. Alright, here we go. That guy is scary. I really shouldn't poke through his stuff, but I need to visit Mrs. Goodwin. Here goes nothing. Huh, this will come in handy. I found the cemetery key. Awesome. Wait. The door's all swollen and twisted. I can't get it open. Oh, whoop, that's not what I wanted. There, can I use this? Nope. All right. Let's run before that guy sees me. Ah! Want some drugs? Alright, here we go. A perfect match. I unlocked the gate. 
Though the key bent, it's now unusable. Way to go. Alright. Let's go this way. Is there something past this? Anything over here? Nothing. It is a good day for ducks. Almost there. There should be somebody right. Oh, there is somebody right here. Who's this? Ahem. Yeek! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, but wait a second. I know you. From the nursing home. What on earth are you doing? I'm here to visit my husband, but they closed the cemetery. Ha! They think that will stop me? Never. But madam, you can't go breaking into cemeteries like that. Would you calm down and give me the crowbar, please? Well, what are you doing, Price? No! I'm not going anywhere until I've seen uh, I've seen my husband. Do I really have to tell the gravedigger what you're up to? Because I don't want to. That guy gives me the creeps. I su suppose. Here, I'll just wait until it's dawn. Thank you, madam. Wait. Pri Price, you're trying to get in there too. That doesn't make any sense. You should give her your umbrella, you jerk. Um. Okay. Oh, I can pry open the one door that's broken. But what's the point in that? Alright. Save this real quick. Alright, let's use this on here. Maybe I could pry the door open with this crowbar. Open now. Ah, it worked. Yay. What, what in the world? Oh, I'm behind the fence. So what, wait, what is this? All sorts of junk here. Oh, what's that? I found a plank. Oh, neat. Okay. So now I can go back. So now I go back in here. Is that dude gone? <laughs> oh, so that, that woman's gone now. Price, you just threaten to get her in trouble for doing the very same thing that you're trying to do. What a jerk. To see her husband, no less. Okay, now she's on the park bench here. Can we talk to her again? No, we cannot. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's weird. I thought for sure I could use the crowbar over here. Hmm. Is there anything that I can do over in this direction? Nope. Hmm.
Can I hit him with the crowbar? Look, I got this crowbar off from uh, off from the intruder. That proves I'm not lying. Intruder? Not on my watch. Arr, 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 arr. What is he, a dinosaur? I'm quite sure the cor crowbar won't work, but this plank will. It is. Woohoo! There's no way I'll get past that huge lock. Huh. Way to exploit other people to get to your own ends there. I suppose that, um, I suppose that's the message here. And there I was, standing in the rain. There was something in that moment, as if I would have felt her presence. It's hard to describe. I know you don't blame me for anything, but I'm sorry. From the little I got to know you, you deserved better. Your passing was a wake-up call for me. I've decided to quit. Wherever you may be, I hope you're okay. I'm sure you are. Oh, before I forget, I brought you something. It's not much, but... May it light your path in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Mrs. Goodwin. I mustered up the courage. It would end now. I couldn't live like this. And so I went to see my bosses. I went to resign. Press an E, but won't work. Oh, a safe, huh? What's in here? Huh, it's open. What am I supposed to do with this? A salt shaker in a safe? All right. <laughs> a few million years. Nice. Uh oh. I put salt in their coffee? Alright. Hey Jenny, how goes it? Nice to see you, Mr. Price. Have you seen the big guys? No. no. I don't know where they are. Stop interrogating me. Calm down, Jenny. Sheesh. Sorry, sorry. Any messages for me? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, well, let me know if uh, I click too fast. Oops, sure thing, Mr. Price. It's not ringing. I don't know how much game, how much of the game is left, so I'm going to keep playing. Maybe we'll uh, cut this in half, I'm not sure. Nobody's here. Hey, what are you doing? Installing a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Huh?
Hey, Jenny, there's something wrong with the coffee. What's that? It tastes funny. Salty, even. I'm tired of these pranks. Fine, fine. I'll take a look. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, what's this? I think that uh, this is what Jenny connects the phone calls with. I'll insert the cord into the big into the blue plug. Done. Okay, what now? Uh, what are you doing, man? I don't even know what Price is doing right now. Into the blue one? Is Bruton blue? No, he's not. It's not ringing. I don't know. I am quite unsure that's what I'm doing right now. Let's check these offices and see if there's a door on the far side of it. Oh my gosh, that scared me to death. Speaking, Mr. Taylor is waiting on the line. Can I connect the call? What? Again? Ugh, please do. Bruton. Or Bruton. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Bruton. This is Taylor speaking. How do you do, Mr. Taylor? Listen, I understand the city is going to build a highway. I've come to accept that. What? You have? Yeah, but I think it would be only fair if my cabin was moved somewhere else. I mean, you only need my site, not my actual home. I can make the arrangement. Stop it! It's too late and too expensive for any of that. I can pay for some of the expenses. Not going to happen. I will send our new kid over there tomorrow. He'll make sure you sign the papers. But goodbye now, Mr. Taylor. Wow. Huh. I never realized he was so crude. How is he... What? Mr. Taylor, your eyes were bloody. Um... How is he hearing this? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna have to come up with three different ways. I still can't, oh, here we go. Am I gonna have to come up with three different ways for her to, to leave? Or is this gonna work if I go in each office? Nope. What about this last one? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's my coffee mug. I bet it's not salty anymore. It's hard to say no for the coffee, but maybe later. I'm sure I'm gonna have to get some of that water and do something with it. Don't mind if I do. Oh, one more glass or mug. Water is healthy. A little more. Must drink more. I'm gonna burst. Are you gonna pee your pants if I drink one more? Whoops. I think I drank it all. It's a water machine. It's empty and I'm still thirsty. Hmm. Oh, I have to ask her to refill it. Hey, Jenny, I'm sorry to bother you again. What is it this time? There's no water in the water machine, and I'm thirsty. What? How? I just changed the bottle today. I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm going.
Okay, the cord is currently in the blue plug. I'll insert it into the red plug. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing, let's go to McDade. It's gotta be this one. Here we go. Yeah. Mr. Jones is waiting on the line. Alright, connect him. This is McDade speaking. Hey man, this is J-Bomb. I haven't found a new apartment yet. Could you postpone the expro expropriation? Just a few weeks so I can find somewhere to stay. Anything else? Do you want me to look for you? Want me to hold your hand and walk you across, okay, the street, Mr. Mouthy over here? Stop calling here. I'll send someone there tomorrow to take care of things. But dude, I really, farewell. Ha funny guy. I wasn't really fond of the guy either, but that was just unnecessarily cruel. Hmm. And last but not least. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Let's see, it's a, it's a rag. Can't do anything with it here. Hmm. Am I supposed to clock the toilet? Whoops. Yep. Called it. <laughs> Oh man, this poor lady's probably getting really annoyed. Jenny, the toilet's clogged. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know, we hired a janitor a little while back. Um, uh, I'll just call him. No, 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 no don't do it. Uh, I was gonna talk to him anyway. So I might just as well tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Nice try, Price. All right, dude. What do you, uh, Mr. Price? Huh? That wait, that's not. What? Is he up on the fire escape? Oh, whoa! What is that thing? Hmm? I'm sorry, what? Oh, I have to get past him. What? I went... Ah! There we go. I turned the phone off. Oh, I see. Okay. So, I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. I think his phone is shut off. What a bummer. We really need to get that toilet working again. <sighs> okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny. You're awesome. I know. Hmm. All right. From red to green plug, all set. Price, you're a sly guy. Not always the best of character, but you know. Here we go. What's up, Jenny? Mrs. Goodwin is waiting on the line. Should I connect her? Please do. Moore. Hi, Mr. Moore. This is Goodwin. How do you do, Mrs. Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much, and all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder. Oh my gosh. Or eat healthier. 
Your debt is only <laughs> is only your own doing. That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know my husband passed away, and all the bureaucracy and confusing laws. Well, I just don't think it is fair that I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. There are laws, and you must honor them. I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you for a little more time. I've been arranging my things, and no! The law does not compromise. There's nothing I can do. Surely they're goodbye. What an old hag. Oh. Go and show them, dear. The moment of truth, son. This is good win. Oh. Well, ain't that just creepy? I entered through the door. It was as black as night and as quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step. And the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing. Balloons floated to the ceiling. They were all there. They were all there. My bosses, Jenny, and my colleagues. It took a moment for me to figure out figure what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me. For my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself to shout my resignation out loud, but then something happened. A purple silky cloth revealed its secret. A new sign with my name on it. Greed reared its ugly head, and my backbone snapped like a dry stick. But did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppressed my feelings, my guilt. I kept working for a few years. You sure you don't want to swig? No thanks, sir. I'm on duty. I hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. It's all okay, I said to myself. I just kept blowing into the balloon, you know? It only stretches so far. My... My mind broke. I started slipping. Heck, it may it may have even been deliberate. Not long after that, I was fired, and the standard of living I was used to. I run into debt big time. I lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for taking over your property now. Listen, kid. The reason I told you my story... Please, say no more, sir. You really remind me of uh, you really remind me of when I was younger. I'll admit your story really puzzles me. I I'll give my career a second thought for sure. This probably was the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please think it through so you won't end like I did. I will. But ah gosh, I hate doing this. You'll have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I hope he... I really hope he listened to my story. I think this is it. Huh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. That bloody corpse is gonna be me. That I've been seeing. Dude, no. No, no, no. No. There are there are other ways of handling grief. There are other ways of handling stress. This is not okay. I'm not okay with this. <sighs> no, alcohol does not ease depression. It is a depressant. I'm not doing it. I, I don't want to do this. What the heck? <sighs> I might just as well fill all the cliches and write a suicide note. Depressing to write a suicide note. What do I have to say? What comes around goes around. That'll have to do. I feel bad for him. I hope he'll be fine. Come on, elevator. I just want to get away from here. heavy so I can only speak for myself for what I got out of this game that um, price uh, being in the profession that he was had to end up kicking people out of their homes because of their financial situations, um, <laughs> hence the name Distraint, um, which sometimes, I mean, sometimes it, it, it's, it really stinks, but that, that has to happen. Um, I think what this game was really hitting on, though, was how um, there's different ways to go about uh, dealing with tough things like that, where um, on one hand, it can be full of greed uh it can be um extremely negative motivations for wanting to uh, uh have something bad like that come about um the guys who were in charge of the company um they wanted the money the the law was conveniently on their side when it came to uh collecting the debts and they and there was no uh there was no sort of, there was no sense of compassion. There was no empathy. Um, nothing that they they would feel for that person's situation. Yes, there's there's a practical element to it, where it's like, yeah, the people would want tenants who would be able to pay for their stuff, but um, practicality and and all that isn't everything there is to being human. Isn't everything there is to being. Like a person living a full life um, 
there's times where the where the truth is tough, but there's also a lot of, there's a lot of times where we need to put ourselves in other people's positions. Like that one scene when Price was telling Mrs. Goodwin, "You can come live with me." Um, I can only speak for myself. Um, I'm a I'm a disciple of Jesus. I I, be, I believe in in the gospel and the in the, um what Jesus has to say that is true that uh um he's the way the truth and the life uh and all that all that stuff <laughs> and um the way the way he talks about how people should treat each other how people should love each other how people should care for each other um is vastly different than a lot a lot of the way that um most people think <laughs> Uh, how uh, how radical uh, his his idea of, of love is for people um, how it's love is sacrifice it's not this feeling uh, there's a, there's a huge idea out there that love is a feeling um, there's this butterflies you get in your stomach or is that that good the good vibes you get from somebody who's your friend or your family uh, but that that's not that's not a full picture that's that's part maybe a little bit of part of what love is but um really love is a sacrifice love is a sacrifice that uh um, doesn't expect other things in in return like um jesus actually said a greater man a greater love hath no man than this that he would lay down his life for his friends well if you were to lay down your life for somebody um, you're not expecting to get anything in return because there's really nothing in return at that point, <laughs> you know. Um, you know that's that's the kind of idea we're talking about here. Is uh, if there's people that you know that are in trouble, that are in need, um, it doesn't have to necessarily be like when it comes to sacrificing somebody's life. It doesn't necessarily have to mean you die. It can mean like your dreams and aspirations. Maybe maybe something as simple as like, oh, I really wanted to buy this boat. But somebody I know who has medical bills that they can't pay, but I, and I can help them. Um, that kind of a, an idea. And the reason I'm saying all this is because I firmly believe if people if people lived like that more, if, pe if people really truly believed that, um, maybe maybe not even like when it comes to Christianity or, or uh, people. A lot of people don't believe that stuff. The, the principle is still is still there. Um, I believe that if people really treated others like that, uh, the world would be a different place. Um, and also, uh, at the end there, <laughs> how Price dealt with his situation. If anybody out there is dealing with um, depression, is dealing with really difficult things that go on, going on in their lives, is uh, stress overwhelming stress feeling like the world is on your shoulders and um all the above maybe if you're considering ending your own life please reach out to somebody because there is someone out there who cares about you you may think right now after i said that no there is not that is not true that's absolutely not true i've been in situations where i've had to um help friends uh, keep them awake <laughs> so that way they wouldn't die of overdose um, I've seen what that can do and it's not pretty so um, there's there are, there are plenty of lines out there that, that, that you can reach out to whether it be on the phone, whether it be friends whether it be uh, a church or, or uh, some sort of or <laughs> some sort of organization they, people want to help um, they do I, I promise there's people out there who want to help um, and it is worth it, there is hope I can promise you that I can, I can promise you, based on my experience you know, I, believe, I believe Jesus is hope um, I believe he offers us ultimate hope, but um, there there are people out there who care and love about uh, love you so much, um, and want to show that to you. So, so don't forget that. Um, and as always, guys, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.